guys, it's Smitten Kitten. I'm gonna be doing a oh hell no and oh hell yes edition of liquid lips of everything that I own. I'm gonna give you my honest, true opinion on all of them um, and just certain things like that. And I just really wanted to give you guys some input on some of the things I've bought and if I would recommend them, if I would not recommend them, what I think about them, their formula, etc. <laughs> So the first one I want to jump into right away is ColourPop because this one's going to take the longest. I have so much to say about this brand, their lips anyways. Um, so I have four, five, six, seven, whoa. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one of their lips. The majority of them being matte. And these are gonna go in the oh hell no category. And it's I'm like super bummed about having to put them in that category, but um their matte lips are so disappointing and I was so mad because everyone has always raved about them like everyone I watch on YouTube has raved about them and said how great and amazing they are and all these different things and um, I was like oh my gosh I, I gotta get my hands on these and they just fall so flat like the color variety is out of this world it's amazing they have every kind of color you could imagine um, they are just not long wear like whatsoever they fade so fast like eating drinking breathing talking anything these wear off like they're nothing I'm wearing Kat Von D's Lolita today so this is not on that but um I love the finish of their mats this is the the one I just watched this was the bad habit and I have so many I kept buying them because I was hoping that they would just get better or something would happen and it would fix everything and I'd be like, I was just doing it wrong and I just cannot, I've used a lip primer, I've used stuff over the top of it to try and make it stay, it's just not working, it just doesn't work, their lips fall so flat unless you like are super super careful about what you do but if you're doing it for a going out look or any kind of thing like that, like you don't want to have to be constantly reapplying your matte lip or any kind of lip if well just matte in general all the other kinds of lips you do have to reapply but um yeah I was super bummed about that but they're ultra satin and they're ultra glossy if I can find one they are amazing um they do everything they're supposed to the glossy lips are so glossy and super pigmented and then the Ultra Satin obviously is like a matte finish, but does not give you the matte that you're looking for. So it's supposed to dry and stay all day so that their thing on that does not lie like their Ultra Mattes. They are not long wear whatsoever. But that was the Ultra Glossy, as you can tell, and then their Ultra Satin. So I do not recommend their Ultra Mattes, but their Ultra Glossies and Matte Lips are just fine or ultra glossy and ultra satin are just fine um, I would recommend those at any given time so <laughs> I wanted to get those ones out of the way right away because I had so much to say about them and it, none of it was very positive but for everyone's different everyone likes different things um, you should go for whatever one you feel comfortable with Colourpop is cheaper they're six bucks you can get so many for the price of like one beauty bakery and stuff like that. Like, so that's where the compromise is. Like, yes, it's cheaper, but it's not better than the others. So, um, next thing I'm going to talk about is the Kylie Cosmetic Lip Ones. And I have been super impressed. I haven't actually worn them yet, so I can't give them a fair, um, oh hell yes, oh hell no. But right now it's a like, definite maybe yes. <laughs> like... Cause I swatched these on my arms when I got them and like as soon as I got them 
and they do not come off for anything like I oh my god <laughs> like I was trying to scrub them off in the shower I was trying to scrub them off at work at everywhere and they just don't want to come off so um, I got two four six nine shades and two of them if you have seen my last video that I will upload hopefully before this one I got two fake ones because I got gypped by a company and just long story there's a video on it so but this is Mary Jo um, Ginger and Posey K and they dry down matte they seem like they're gonna be super long wear they came these three came with the lip liners um, yeah so <laughs> they don't come off for anything so I'm very very excited to try them I actually wear them out. I got the birthday edition. Oh no! I got the birthday edition one as well that came with six of her shades. Sorry. <laughs> that came with six of her shades. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Try this one more time. Um. Give me six of her shades. There's exposed, exposed Dulce K, Coco K, Candy K, uh, Kristen, and Leo. I was actually gonna wear Kristen today, but I totally forgot, and it's too late. I'd already put my Lolita one on. But they seem really long wear. They seem these ones are legit. The Mary Jo is legit. Um, so long wear like I'm so excited to try and give like a real true honest opinion and review on it next we'll go with the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lips um, I got Lolita and lovesick I did a little haul on them when I bought them with all the other stuff I'm wearing Lolita right now it's a very nice like brown nude color yeah but um Some of my eye. They are the most comfortable mat I've worn so far, and I haven't been mm, wearing mats too long. And the two colors I got, I really like. Super pigmented. Um, Does it take a lot to get on with your lips? Unlike Mary Jo, when I did the swatches on my lips of Mary Jo K by Kylie, um, it was a little more streaky. Same thing with Leo, but these are not like that. They're great. I love her packaging. I love Kat Von D in general, um, despite all the dispute with her and Jeffree Star. Do not care. I'm still probably going to buy her products, and I'm still going to buy, well, I obviously still bought them, and I'm still probably going to buy Jeffree Star products. Like, whatever goes on with celebrities shouldn't be made public, but it is, it doesn't, it shouldn't affect their work, like, their makeup work, so, in my opinion. But great, love them. These two shades are amazing. Um, next are the Beauty Bakery. So, the, the, okay, so those were Oh Hell Yeses. These are Oh Hell Yeses as well because they are amazing. I love Beauty Bakery. I will recommend them for the rest of my life, forever. Um, they are so long wear. It is ridiculous. Like, as soon as they go on, they're there for good girl. Like, you better pray you don't need to take it off for any reason like kiss proof smudge proof everything proof literally this is it they are so these are 20 i think and so were the these ones the lip kits by kylie are 27 i want to say um so obviously they may be a little more expensive but it's more worth it than color pop in my honest opinion with you guys um they're just amazing beauty bakery i haven't bought as many yet i'm planning on buying more they don't have as big of a shade variety as like kat von d and kylie and ColourPop is the only thing but i'm assuming it's because of the whatever um foundation formula that they use to make these it's probably a little harder to make than the others because it's like there's no other liquid lipstick they can compare. Except for maybe the Lime Crime Velveteen, which I'm going to be buying and trying for you guys. Because I'm just on a huge liquid lipstick kick. Like, 
everything is about it. Like, I don't care about anything else right now. <laughs> like, ridiculous. But that is those ones. Then drugstore ones that I would recommend would be the Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Color, which are these. I have the shade Wish Upon a Berry and Heartbreaker. Do not apply the gloss to it. It does, it takes away the um, matte from it. It will wear off, obviously, because now it's glossed and it's wet constantly. But yeah, these, same thing, they're like the Kylie ones, did not come off my arm whatsoever. Like ridiculous, ridiculous. So um, these are seven bucks and you can get them at any kind of Walgreens, Walmart, etc. Next is the Rimmel Matte Revlon. Jesus. I don't know what's happening, to be honest with you. Um. London <laughs> Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. They are not matte whatsoever. They are like a satin lip. They never dry down and they smear everywhere. Um, the next one is Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. Same thing. Um, they're cheaper, obviously. I think the Revlon one is like eight bucks and this one is six. So if you want something in that color or whatever, I would go for something similar in Hard Candy and not Revlon. They're like overpriced for crappy um, lips, basically. Uh, next is the Hard Candy Fierce Effects Daring Lip Gloss, also $6. I love the, they have a huge shade variety. They're very nice. Hard Candy is a good brand, I believe. Um, for lipsticks, I only have two. And they are the Kate Rimmel London Lipsticks. Yeah, they look like this. Has her signature on it. Uh -oh. And then a little crown on the top. And then just a basic angled one. And then the next one is the Pixie by Petra. It's a matte lipstick, supposedly matte lipstick. Um, I like this one as well. Oh no, I lost the lid. Oh god. Oh god. I do like this shade a lot. Uh, it's called Rose Naturel. Um, it's great. Lipstick, I don't wear a lot of lipsticks. Just like I don't wear a lot of anything that's not matte basically because I don't want it to move around and I don't want to have to reapply it. Uh, next is the Trust Fund Beauty. You guys have seen it. I have Kate By. It's a great shade but it is not matte. It never actually dries down. It's basically a satin lip. But it's a great nude for when I want something nude and I don't mind right blah, blah, blah. <sighs> reapplying it. Uh, the other, the last two that I forgot were the Tarte Lip Surgeon Lip Cream and the Tarte Lip Surgeon Lip Gloss. Um, I've had these for a very long time. They're probably getting towards the end. Like I've probably had them for a few years. But these are great as well. They're, I wore these, this combination all the time <laughs> in high school. Like, it's all I ever did. But other than that, I don't have any other lipsticks that I feel need to be talked about. I have a few, like, I don't like this color, so I've never actually worn it. The Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. The color is too pinky, it's this one, for me. So I've never worn it, so I can't give it an honest opinion. Um, I like the Buxom Glosses they're amazing as well but other than that you guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed I will be doing these kinds of videos on foundations powders anything you can think of lotions for you guys um, as my collection grows so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time